Mahim has enjoined on us here in Atlanta that we may come together and read out of this legacy and continue on the path uh, that we've started because truly we understand that in order to attain salvation, once you get on this path, there is no turning around. Mm. A lot of people are... A lot of people uh, reject their salvation because people want to do what people want to do because of the motions of the flesh. But when we consider the things that we have to deal with, we, all, we also understand that Yahweh meant what he said. And we got a legacy to show us that Yahweh uh, 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 meant exactly uh, uh, what he said. So because we are the descendants of former slaves whom all nations are ill-treated throughout our history, and being the captive children uh, bearing grievous curses from our God for our fathers and learning the ways of strangers, we understand that we suffer and, uh, and debase ourselves because we as a people have no culture. And because we strive so diligently to outdo our captives and those uh, 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 that have familiar spirits with, that we are familiar with, our lewdness and dependency on the Gentiles has caused the nations to deplore and disinherit our captive domesticated people. So as a recompense to us, AIDS, herpes, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attacks, and many other diseases is causing much suffering and many deaths among our people. Being part of the promised remnant called to the grace uh, of the new covenant sealed in Yahshua's holy blood, even we ourselves walk contrary to our culture by having a reason to transgress, mm. whether we label, label it a weakness or being deceived, all unrighteousness is sin. So let us learn to commit ourselves to the worship in, uh, of Yahweh Elohim and our service in Yahshua that we might show reason for the necessity uh, uh, of Yahweh cleansing us uh, uh, in our minds and in our bodies because if we don't do these things, if we are not purged, then truly we know that we will not obtain salvation. Uh, but Brother Steve, read the orchids of the church and invite him who stands at the door that he may come in and sup with us and us with him, that we may continue to read out of this great legacy and consider what we read because Yahweh meant what he said. I'm going to read the oracles of the church beginning at 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. Mm -hmm. But the end of all things is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things have favorite love among yourselves. For love shall cover the multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man have received a gift, even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of Elohim. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Elohim. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Elohim gives, that Elohim in all things may be glorified through Yahshua the Mashiach, to whom be Praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of Elohim, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be you kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as Elohim for the anointed one's sake have forgiven you. Be you therefore followers of Elohim as their children, and walk in love as the anointed one also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Elohim for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness are covetousness. Let it not be once named among you as become a saints. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Praise Yah. 
Revelation chapter 3, verses 20 through 22. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Praise Yah. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church and holy convention. I'd like to start our class today in St. Luke chapter 1 and verse 1 through chapter 2 and verse 32. Uh, St. Luke 1 and verse 1 through chapter 2 and verse 32. Now, we go, you know, we hear a lot of things uh, uh, in our day-to-day -day life with people that we deal with that has been uh, uh, raised up uh, uh, in the churches that, the, that our adversaries have set apart. But the things that we read here at NCCI, you notice they never cover those things? They don't cover these things because uh, it's a reason for it. The reason is... Uh, uh, as long as they give you bits and pieces of things, you never understand what the doctrine is. This is why we cover so many things. This is why we read so much, so that when your judgment comes, you can't say, I didn't know. If you come here, you're going to know. Uh, St. Luke chapter 1, and pick that up, my brother, at verse 1. Yes, sir. For as much as many have taken in hand to set in forth in order a declaration of those things, which are most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus, mm -hmm. that you might know the certainty of those things wherein you have been instructed. So, the book, this, the book of Luke was written to, written to who? A captain in the Roman's army. Okay, go ahead and read it, brother. Verse 5. There was, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before Elohim, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Adonai, blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before Elohim in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Adonai. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside at the time of incense. Mm -hmm. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Adonai standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Mm. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name Johanan. Mm. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Mm -hmm. For he shall be great in the sight of the Adonai, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And a lot of people think that the Holy Ghost just came on the day of Pentecost, in Acts 2, after the Messiah is resurrected from the dead. But the Holy Ghost has always been on the earth. Holy Ghost is nothing new, but when we listen to other people, well, the Holy Ghost came with the Messiah. No, it didn't. Yeah, it came upon the Messiah, but it was already here. Uh, go ahead and read. Well, brother, I had a uh, aunt. She was she's dead and gone now, but she was a member of that C O G I C. Mm -hmm. She thought the Holy Ghost came in 1962. <laughs> yeah, well, brother, a lot of people think uh, when they go to church that the Holy Ghost come up on them and it's something new. But it's not. The Holy Ghost has always been here. Uh, a man just don't know who the Holy Ghost is. So uh, naturally, by not having a good foundation laid in the doctrine, people surmise things. Mm -hmm. And the things that man has surmised has got all of these churches filled on the first day of the week. Folks, and folks think it's all right to go to church 
on, on Sunday, the first day of the week. But Yahweh said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Mm. You should have a holy convention in the place where I choose to put my name. But what man did, man decided uh, in 312 A.D., Emperor uh, 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 Constantine and Pope St. Leo decided, well, we don't want to go to church on the same day as these Jews here going to mm church so what we're going to do we're going to set ours up on the first day of the week and call it resurrection sunday mm -hmm. see but like isaiah said they were going to change times and they were going to change laws simply because of what was being brought up on the earth and mainly because it our people had those curses on us and what we were doing was this we following what master had to say we don't do no research we go because it makes us feel good mm -hmm. Go ahead and uh, read, brother. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 1, verse 16. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Adonai, their Elohim. That's the remnant. Mm -hmm. See, people tell us, say, well, God, see you. Paul said, seeing that you put the way, told the Jews, said, seeing that you put the word of, uh, of Elohim away from you, lo, we turn to the Gentile, to apostles. Well, one apostle and, and, and brother that was with them, right? One apostle was sent to the Gentiles, and people tell me, well, see, Paul went to the Gentiles, so they forgot you, Jew. Well, what was Peter and the rest of the apostles doing? Mm -hmm. the, the, the temple was set up at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. This is why when different uh, things that was real hard to, uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to, uh, uh, to deal with came up among the churches that were set among the Europeans, what happened? They had to go back to Jerusalem to get that thing squared away. See, they were grafted into our tree, and they cut on our tree, and now and put up their tree, and now we fruit of their trees. Mm -hmm. See, but like Yahweh said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, and we don't want no knowledge. See, what we like is this: we like that emotion thing, mm -hmm. what make us feel good. Nothing makes me feel better than to know that I have the spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, you got a lot of them out there thinking that. Um the curses, not only the curses just didn't sit with Israel, they, the whole world is cursed and everybody, is, that's why everybody are Gentiles, that everybody's going to go through the same punishment. But we're going through a worse curse than any nation of people that ever been on the face of this earth, a worse a situation than any uh, people that have been on the face of this earth. Well, what you expect, bro, Yahweh came to us and spoke with our people. Right. Okay, gave us his lively oracles, and then what do we do? We decided we want to be like master. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be like whoever nation it was that came in among us. And when you get back in the book of Ezra and Nehemiah during the Babylonian captivity, you can very well see we was doing the same thing then that we are doing now, uh, the masses of our people, and that is serving the gods of the people around us and then you add, people tell you say well I love him you know and so forth and so all you got to do to find out is that ask him say what's his name right, that's what I do. and they don't even know his name and you always say my people should know my name right. you see but what did they what did what do the nations teach us to call him Lord and God man Sarah called Abraham Lord mm -hmm. right they're gods many Lucifer is God mm -hmm. okay point that we were trying to get around to him. He was saying, well, y'all, at y'all church, y'all bash other people's religion. I said, what you think the apostles was doing? They was going around telling those people that, you know, y'all are worshiping, you know, these pagan gods, our people especially. You of know? course, of course. And that's the same reason, brother, because we follow the ways of strangers. That's the same reason when you get off into the New Testament, it, uh, especially what they call the New Testament, especially in the book of Revelation, when you read about the churches that Paul set up, Messiah had something against all of those churches except the, uh, the church of uh, the latter the Seans. Now, we're talking about all Europeans, you see. Uh, 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 he had something against all the churches but the church of the latter the Seans, which was in revision at that time. But we know from history, if we read the book for, as a history book for what it is and stop looking for somebody to jump out there and scare us to death, if we read this book, as a history book, we find and go into the public libraries, we'll find out by, that by the time that Rome fell in 476 A.D., them churches didn't exist. 
Then they went into the Dark Ages, and when they came out of the Dark Ages, they had one church, the Roman Catholic Church. Brother gonna tell me, say, well, I'm a Protestant. I said, well, why do you keep the days that the Roman Catholic Church set up? What are you protesting? <laughs> See, what are you protesting? You going to church every Sunday? You putting your money in church? You listen to a bunch of gobbledygook, ain't nobody telling you nothing. Uh, and, and what people don't seem to understand is this, my brother. Yahweh deal with nations of people. But by them, by, by the ministers keeping them in what they call the New Testament, that's like building a house and starting from the roof. People can tell you any damn thing, can't they? But, if the, but, but what it is is this. The foundations that the churches have, have set today, the, old, the prophets do not back those things up. That's why they broke up into so many different denominations. They never could quite get that lie straight. You know why? They were told Israel was given the covenants, mm -hmm. the promise, the service, the giving of the law. All of the holy things of Yahweh was given to us to teach to the nation. Then the nation destroyed us, put us in captivity. Mm -hmm. Now what we doing? We find we following them helter skelter into that lake of fire. See, even talking about going off to heaven, it ain't written no place in the scripture. Ain't written no place in the scripture. Uh, go ahead and uh, finish up, Steve. Luke chapter 1, verse 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just mm -hmm. to make ready a people prepared for the Adonai. So John the Baptist went forth to do one thing, make ready a people that was prepared for the coming of the Messiah, right? He didn't go to the nation. See, John the Baptist did all of his ministry right there in the land of Israel among his people. Look at what the Messiah did. The Messiah did his ministry right in the land of Israel among our people, didn't he? That's just why he said, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm. This is why he said, salvation is of the Jews. And folks going to tell me, say, well, no, he didn't mean that. Mm. Salvation is of the Christian. Well, let's go ahead and see what, 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 what the angel had to say. And I'm inclined to believe what angels had to say instead of what men that I got to pay, the lie that put on a flow show in front of me. I'm inclined to believe what the angels had to say than to believe what some man has to say. Well, go ahead and read, brother. Verse 18. As Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of Elohim, and am sent to speak unto you, and to show you these glad tidings. Mm -hmm. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. Okay, you don't believe me in the true and living God sent me? Okay, you're going to be dumb until these things uh, 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 come about. I bet you'll believe me next time I come and tell you something. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and read, brother. And the brother stayed dumb for nine months. Go ahead, brother. Verse 21. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. Hmm. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus have the Adonai dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. Mm -hmm. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from Elohim unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth <clears throat> to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, mm -hmm. and the virgin's name was Mary. So uh, Elizabeth, when she became six months pregnant, it was in the six months of the Hebrew calendar, which is September, right? Mm -hmm. Women still carry babies nine months. So how could Christ be born in December? Mm -hmm. That woman two months away. Mm -hmm. Three months. But go ahead and read, brother. Verse 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, you that are highly favored, 
the Adonai is with you, blessed are you among women. Hmm. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with Elohim. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahshua. Mm -hmm. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Adonai Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of, the, of his kingdom there shall be no end. And as long as y'all have been, went to them, them, them whole houses out there, they never read that to you, did they? They never read to you that the Messiah was going to be given the throne of his father, David, that was going to be set. The kingdom that's going to be set up is a divided kingdom. But they said, no, y'all ain't going to never rule over us. All of us going off to La La Land. See, all of us, we're going to meet the Lord in the air, and we're going to forever be with the Lord. We going, I said, where are you going to be at, in the air? No, we're going off to heaven. It didn't say that. It didn't say that. Search the prophets, and the prophets are going to tell you where he's going to come to on this earth. This is why we were told in the New Testament, the thing that was written aforetime was written for our learning and our comfort. The new, uh, the, the, what they call the New Testament is a confirmation of things that were said by the prophets. Like Yahweh said, I don't do anything until I tell my service to the prophets first. And the things that we cover, you don't hear those things in the church. Why are they in the book? They're part of the doctrine. Well, why has the Gentiles got these things hidden from us? Why? Because they got something else they're dealing with. Yeah, go ahead and uh, 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 read, brother. Luke chapter 1, verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Hmm. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of Elohim. Why? Because it was planted by the Holy Spirit itself. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Uh, people don't believe in that. What they say, immaculate conception. Mm -hmm. I ask them all the time. But Adam didn't come from a woman. Who came out of Adam? So how do you get around that? Right. Right. Up, right. You know, take that. You're creative, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like Yahweh said, is anything uh, impossible for me to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and read, bro. Verse 36. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth. She have also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called Barry. Mm -hmm. For with Elohim, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Adonai. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Do you see that sister didn't sit, and I, sit around and wonder what her husband was going to say about she being a virgin and popping up pregnant? Mm -hmm. You see she didn't worry about that? Mm -hmm. What she said, Behold the handmaiden of the Adonai, be it unto me according to your word. Mm -hmm. see, let Yahweh do his work. That God be true and every man a liar, as it, it is written, that you may be justified in your saying and overcome when you are judged. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 39, and Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Yehuda and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Now Elizabeth is filled with the Holy Ghost. Soon as Mary came to see her, right? Go ahead, brother. Mm. Verse 42. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Adonatia come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of your salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Mm. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Adonai. And Mary said, My soul does magnify the Adonai, and my spirit hath rejoiced in Elohim my Savior. 
For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Not worshiper. Like the Christians do, and now the Protestants are in this country is grabbing onto that Mary worship. See, every time you turn around, people talk about, I, I seen the lady. The lady came to me and said this, and they worship, got statues and everything over, right? And there's no place in the scripture where it was told you to worship Mary. But where did they come from? They came out of the Roman Catholic Church. Ain't they the one that canonized people and make them saints and so forth? Of course, they don't canonize none of y'all, but don't they canonize folks and make, they just, they just canonize another person for them to pray to, Mother Teresa. Got statues all in the store and everything. People buying them things, putting them in their houses and on their dash, right? Black folks see them before you know it, here they walk around with a little statue on their dash. Yeah. Now go ahead and read, brother. Luke chapter 1, verse 49. For he that is mighty have done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. He have showed strength with his arm. He have scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Mm -hmm. He have put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he have sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy mm -hmm. as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Mm -hmm. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Mm -hmm. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Adonai had shown great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. Mm. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, mm. and they called him Zacharias after the name of his father. Mm -hmm. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called Johannes. And they said unto her, There is none of your kindred, kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is Johanan. And they marveled all. Mm. And his mouth was open immediately, and his tongue loose, and he spake and praised Yah. Mm. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them. And all these sins were gnawed abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. Mm. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What man of child shall this be? And the hand of the Adonai was with him. Mm -hmm. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Adonai Elohim of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Not everybody. He had visited and redeemed his people. See, they like to tell you in church. See, John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But according to the doctrine, and they never quite get off into the doctrine. He said, John the Baptist, John said, and, and, and uh, Zechariah said in verse 68, Blessed be the Adonai Elohim of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. We were the only people that Yahweh had made covenants with. We were the only ones that, re that uh, uh, needed redeeming. And when you read the book of Acts, you find out that we had the church among us Ten years before Peter even went to all the Europeans. Mm -hmm. The elder to have left that word kindred to possess his love. His and also mm -hmm. say like you can save his people to me and stay in my Right. Mm -hmm. He had to save Israel first. It's the same thing when the Messiah turned back, re returned back. After he put out all rule on this, on this earth and, and destroy all the wicked off this earth, his first job is to gather Israel from the four corners of the earth. His first job. Did he say that um, we need to let the children first be filled in them? Because you wanted to bless them, but he said, I'll take care of the children first. Yeah, but people just don't know who the children are, brother. Right. You got to understand that uh, when we go to churches, we get selected readings. Mm. We never get a full understanding of, uh, of the doctrine. 
Uh, we never get a full understanding of the story because we as a people never read the whole story. What we do is we go and let somebody teach us what they want to teach us. And like I was telling the brother the other week, I said, brother, let me tell you something. I can take this book here, man, if, if I was that kind of brother. I can take this book here, brother, and get off of there and get to hooping and hollering downtown. Give me six months and I have one of the biggest churches in town. You know why? I'm going to tell the people what they want to hear. That's what the preachers in church do. They don't tell you nothing. Grace, love, peace, give me that money. Grace, love, peace, give me that money. Choir sing real good, and we get to forking out that money, right? Well, we don't have to keep the law with why you're paying tithes. 10%, you can't show me 10%. No place in the New Testament. It's written in the Old Testament, right? But they require 10% of what you got and what you're going to get. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 1, verse 69. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, Dawid, <laughs> as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Listen to what he's saying. Mm. That we should be saved from our enemies, right? Who's our enemy? Mm. Who's yeah. our enemy? Our enemies are the people that's been teaching us this garbage that, had, that brought our people over here slaves and still have us in here as captives. That's who our enemies are. But see, we don't, want to, we don't want that to be our enemy, see, because he got everything, and we love everything, so we want to be just like Mike. Yeah. Yeah, just on. to show you, Elder, when, uh, how gullible our people can be when uh, George Bush made that statement, say, well, and what's the name, Vicente, president of Mexico, mm -hmm. saying, well, you know, it's jobs over here that other people don't want. And it's all right if the Hispanics, we need to let the Hispanics just keep coming across the border to take these many of your jobs. Mm -hmm. right? And I talked to a sister about that, and I said, you know, uh, now these little many of your jobs that we, we really priced ourselves out of jobs because our, our lifestyle, the way we're living now, we can't work for 8 or $9 an hour, right? Mm -hmm. And she was telling me, oh, he meant everybody. <laughs> no, we he didn't. We always want to be inclusive with everybody. No, he didn't. He was talking about Hispanics. And truly, somebody got to do the work. And, and our cost of living is too high for us to take those kind of jobs. They got to have somebody do it, ain't they? Yeah, well, I'm saying the, the jobs that other people didn't want. He was talking about this so-called Negro, right? Right. Israel. Right. But I remember when I was coming up, brother, let me tell you something. Brothers took pride in being a doorman at one of those big hotels. Mm -hmm. You know why? They made good money. The tips and everything Plus, was boys, good. All that stuff right, like that. right. We did those jobs, and we prospered. But see, now, since the Civil Rights Movement, our cost of living has gotten so high, brother, that we can't take those jobs. So know what we have to do? We have to sit around and look at somebody else, look at Julio driving down the street in the new cars and everything, right? And we have to sit, sit around and wish we had them because we can't take the jobs. Uh, go ahead. Man, Jake got too much pride for that. Jake, Jake don't do what Jake have to do. Jake do what he wants to do. Uh, go ahead and read, Steve. Luke chapter 1, verse 72. Mm. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers mm -hmm. and to remember his holy covenant, mm -hmm. the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, mm -hmm. that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Listen, verse 72 say, uh, verse 71, uh, 70 says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since, uh, uh, since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore unto our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Moshe said, it shall be our righteousness. We do all the things uh, contained in this law, right? People say we're not under law, we're under grace. Y'all notice how they're throwing the Ten Commandments out of their court system? Huh? 
Okay. They don't do nothing else Yahweh had to say. And we go and try to tell them the truth. What did they do? What did they do with us? We get ostracized. Brother, I don't know whether y'all noticed it or not, but they just uh, reestablished that Patriot Act. And this one is not going to expire to when, 19, uh, uh, 2007? Brother, that Patriot Act is going to cause us all the problems we want. That Patriot Act speaks of martial law. See? And all we got to do is read it. It speaks of martial law. We're in big trouble. Uh, uh, what's that, the king, uh, what that king name? Yeah. That King Albert plan, if you notice, that whole plan is one, about one thing, controlling the masses of minorities. Mm -hmm. See, this is why they're, they're doing this urban warfare in our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. See, we got this thing coming, and we don't see it because them niggas in them churches, what do they do? They keep us blinded to the fact and get us all puffed up. It ain't nothing but great love, everybody. Right. <laughs> this is love that we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. See, if a man don't keep his commandments toward me, I know one thing, that's Yahweh's enemy. Okay, well, he's definitely my enemy, right? And you know what we don't do, brother? We, we deal with all these different denominations and everything because of tradition, but we never go back and do no research on who started them and why they, those denominations were started. And, and, and the religions that we practice today, all except Catholicism, is less than 600 years old. But we don't, we don't know. You know why? We don't have a teacher. Yeah. Go ahead and read, Steve. Luke chapter 1, verse 76. And thou, child, shall be called a prophet of the highest, but thou shalt go before the face of the Adonai to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our Elohim, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us mm -hmm. to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way and of And this peace. is what people, little words like we, you, they, and us, people don't pay no attention to it. They just think they're talking about everybody. Luke was talking about what John the Baptist was going to do among the children of Israel. All of this was about the children of Israel. This did not even include any. We haven't read anything else about another nation yet, have we? No, okay. sir. Go ahead and read, brother. And all, and all those things that were started, my brother, wasn't started by none of us. Of course not. Not even the black men. Of course not. When they started Christianity and brought Christianity, man, they came over here on a crusade and murdered off the Indians and took their country and then went and got them some slaves, right, and recorded the worst slavery in the pages of history. But then the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, and then we went through that civil rights movement. Now we aren't separated no more. And when we get back into the Scripture, we find out one thing. Yahweh always separated us from other people. He always separated us from other people. But we don't want to be separated, see? You know why? We love Master. We look out and see what Master are doing and so forth. We love these things, not knowing that Master only had a, a period of time to rule this earth. We only had a period of time to be in this captivity. And the things, the curses that Yahweh put up on our people, when you look upon us, brother, we write at the tail end of those curses right now. We got to fulfill the book. The book has to be fulfilled. And what they talk about in churches today, it ain't written in the book. They want to group everybody together. They going up to heaven, and they going to reign with Christ in heaven, and then they going to come back down on the earth and reign with him here on earth. In other words, we going to be captives forever. <laughs> See? Right, right. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 80. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the deserts to the day of his showing unto Israel. I don't blame him, brother. That's the best place for John to be. <laughs> be out in the desert. Leave Jake alone, because, man, Jacob makes you lose your religion. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and read, brother. <laughs> Luke chapter 2, verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Mm -hmm. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria, and all went out to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Yosef also went up from Galilee 
out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of Dawi, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of Dawi, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Mm. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Mm -hmm. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Adonai came upon them, and the glory of the Adonai shone round about them, and they were so afraid. Mm. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Now this great joy that I'm bringing you, it's, going, it's not just going to be to you, Israel. It's going to be to all people, right? Mm. Okay, go ahead and read. Verse 11. For unto you. Not all people, but unto you. Sir. is born this day in the city of Dawid a Savior, which is Hamashiach, the Adonai. Mm -hmm. Born in the house of Israel, born of the house of David, born of the tribe of Judah, born of the nation of Israel, right? But when we get it, we get a white boy. <laughs> well, where did we get that from? We even build churches, man, in black neighborhoods and put big, them big white murals and everything around, right? not understanding that the Messiah was a black brother. See? And history proves he was black. Even when you get back in the Old Testament, see, this is one of the reasons why you don't, they want, don't want you to read the Old Testament. If you read about, if you go back and read the beginning and see the seeds that Yahweh was set up on the earth, it was two black seeds and it was two so-called white seeds. Look at the Jews over there in Israel. Who do they come out of? They come out of Shem, don't they? That's right. Right? Well, the Europeans came out of Yafet. Ain't they the same color? Yes, sir. Okay. Talk with them Africans about the people over there that they got over there, the Ashante, the Bantu, the Limbaugh, and all them mm -hmm. folks. And uh, uh, me and, uh, who was it? Me and a brother, me and uh, Seth. My son Seth was in the park store the other day, and this African was up there talking that yin-yang. I said, man, niggas ain't uh, Africans, mm -hmm. you know. And he looked at me and said, you know what? You're right. He said, we didn't, sell, we didn't sell our people, we sold our slaves. Everybody know it but us. You remember Elder when we was going up there uh, on the AU Center up there at Marsh Brown? And we was talking and his Hamite, he, he had his, 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 his mother was a, uh, she was a Gentile, but his dad, you know, he was an African, he was a Hamite. And we asked him about Israel, you know, Beta Israel over there, Colossians over there, and we asked him, isn't there some dogs, people of color over there that you all don't even claim ancestry to? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. And we was talking. You remember we brought you back up there about a week after that, and you questioned that young man? Mm -hmm. He came clean with it, didn't he? He had to. He had to. Anytime you know the truth and you confront these Africans with it, they'll tell you what to do. Even Gentiles, man, that, that got some knowledge. If you confront them with this, this truth and let them know, that, and, and the things you say, let them know that you know beyond right. a doubt who you are, they'll admit who you are. Yeah, you the children of Israel. Yeah, you the children of Israel. Everybody know it but us. Uh, uh, like one brother told me, he said, man, I'd rather be a black moccasin than to be a Jew. See, not understanding that Christ was born king of the Jews. The Yahshua Hamashiach are the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Why you think he's going to sit on the throne of David as king of what? King of the Jews in Jerusalem, Israel. You know, the, um, a lot of the Ethiopians, they call it out about churches. They even got, I mean, we know that they got their own Jesus, but... They got black paintings, you know, men, they, they know about Israel, they come, you know, they know Israel, you know, they don't have no white images paint, they have to look at them, the church, the art, they, they got Every, all paintings of the angels, everything. You know. Everybody know it but us. Everybody know it but us because of our miseducation, because we love everybody. See, we so quick to believe anything. I've been hollering in this city here for over 30 years, right? Don't nobody want to hear what I got to say. But you let a Gentile come up here and get oh. to talking about it. And everybody is all ears. Well, you know, Mr. Charlie said that's what it is, so that's what it is. Right. Go on and finish up. 
Breaking down the, the seeds one day to this brother in the store one day, and it just so happened this Gentile lady was behind me. And as soon as I finished, got through breaking down the seeds and letting them know we seed, he come out of it and what seed the Gentiles come out of it. You know that lady walked right up to him and said, "You need to listen to him because he's right." Brother, I was in I was in Publix one day, an old white lady came up to me and said, "Ain't you that man to be on TV?" <laughs> I said, "Yes, ma'am." She said, "Well, we waiting on y'all to do what y'all got to do." Oh, see. Man. Everybody know but us. We don't want to know. You know why? We going to be Christians. We going to live our lives as Christians. We going to die as Christians. Not understanding that when the disciples were called Christians at Antioch by them, by them Gentiles, it caused our people a problem. This is why Peter had to tell the people, so you, be, so you suffer being called a Christian. Just be glad you're able to suffer. You see? But the same people that called us Christians at Antioch calls us a whole lot of other choice names today, don't we? That's right. But we love them, don't we? Yeah, we want everything master do, you look up and we do it. Master got to walking around, brother, putting all them tattoos and everything on us. Now everybody you see of our people got tattoos in special places. See? They have. And then them special places they got them tattoos at, they're gonna reveal it so you can see that tattoo. Not only so, brother, Folks, folks walking around, boy, they got, they piercing their navels. They piercing their lips. They got them things in every way you can name, right? Well, go back and read what that scripture got to say about printing marks upon you and all that stuff. And you'll find out that Yahweh told us not to do these things. But see, we think it's chic. See, it's not chic. It's following the ways of strangers. See, uh, go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Before I get carried away in a tantrum again today. And I want to do my class today. Go ahead. Luke chapter 2 <coughs> verse 13. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising Yah and saying glory to Elohim in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward me. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which Yahweh hath made known unto us. Hmm. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which, were to which was told them concerning this child. Mm -hmm. And all they that heard it wondered at those things, which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorified and praising Yah for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Yahshua, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moshe were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Adonai. As it is written in the law of the Adonai, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Adonai. Hmm. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Adonai, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Hmm. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. You see what he was waiting for? Waiting for the consolation of Israel, waiting for Israel to be consoled, right? Mm -hmm. Because the Romans was in there. The Arabs had been in there with the Babylonian Empire. Then the Russians and the Iranians came in. Then the Greeks came in with Alexander the Great. And then the Romans came in with the, with the Caesar. So our people was looking for this comforter uh, to bring consolation in Israel. But see, they misinterpreted the prophets. This is why when the, when the Messiah didn't come in there and kick them Romans out and everything, when he went into the temple. Riding on that, uh, 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 that, that, that jackass, man. What did they say? Hosanna, save us now, save us now. And, they would, and he didn't save them. Folks say, man, I told you that man wasn't going to do nothing. That's because they misinterpreted what the Messiah was going to do in his first and second advent. Mm -hmm.
just like people don't read today to find out what he was going to do in the beginning and what he was going to do in the end. In the beginning, he had to do what? Redeem our people back to God. Mm -hmm. The new covenant was made with us. Now the Gentiles took it over, and I can't see no place written in Scripture where the new covenant was made with nobody but Israel. And that was sealed in the Messiah's blood, but you don't get that in church. Go ahead and read, brother. Ella, Ella when you look at it, the Scripture says that first it's spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. So he came to deliver us from spiritual bondage, right? Right. This time it's going to be a natural bondage, right? Right. The spiritual came before the natural bondage. Right. Right. This is why the Messiah said, uh, this is why the, uh, the Messiah himself said, let your children be fed first. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's not right to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and read, brother. You see what the, you see what the dogs did to it, don't you? They got a thousand different denominations. You can leave this church and go join the next one, get another baptism, go join that one, get another baptism, go over there and get a sprinkling and so forth and so on, right? And, and, and all of them got different lies they're telling out of this one book. You know why? Israel was given the knowledge. Israel was sent out to teach the world. And the world got rid of us and brought that garbage that they, they teaching on the streets every Sunday up to date. We know... <laughs> We know that it ain't no little man, no, 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 no Gentile that come out of the North Pole on reindeer, flying on a sleigh with reindeer to fly, don't we? But the church tell that lie, don't they? Huh? We know Peter Rabbit don't bring no eggs, but the church tell that lie, don't they? It, all of it's built around a lie. Even uh, uh, when they read the prophet, the prophets tell us, say, my son learned not the ways of the heathen because they're vain. Say, they go in the wood and cut out a tree, bring it back up, they stand it up right like the palm tree. They decorate it with gold and silver, right? Now we put our presents and stuff up on it. Say, say, Santa Claus brought you that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I bought that. I bought that. I want credit for it. See? I ain't going to give credit to somebody I don't even know. I mean, what kind of a mythological God? I'm going to give, uh, 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 give the glory, and I done went out there and worked the whole year, nigga, to buy you this doggone PlayStation here? <laughs> Uh-uh. It don't work like that. Yeah. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 2, verse 26. And it was re revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Adonai's Messiah. Mm -hmm. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Yahshua to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed Yah and said, Adonai, now let of thou thy servant depart in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Euro Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Hmm. And Yosef and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising against, again of men in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Mm -hmm. Yea, a sword shall pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Okay, my brother, I don't want oh, to go I went no further. That's, that's, that's all right, too, brother. brother. That, that, that's it. all right, all right. That's part of it. Now, let's go and pick up some other things that were said about the master's birth here. Uh, took place around the time of the master's birth. Let's go into uh, uh, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 17 through chapter 2 and verse uh, uh, 15. Now, what we're doing is what we usually do. The word came to us line upon line, mm -hmm. precept upon precept. This prophet had a little, and that prophet had a little, right? So this is the way we're putting the story back together, the same way it came to us. See, it's a story. It's the history of the world. Mm. But man took it and taught us religion out of a history book. Mm. And that's where the problem lies at. Now we go in, and go in there looking for somebody to jump out of here and scare us to death. No, no, no. You're going to find your creator out there in the streets in your day-to-day -day life. And here you ain't going to find nothing but a bunch of words. Yeah. Go on and read, uh, brother. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to Dawid are 14 generations. 
add from thy weed unto the carrying away into Mesopotamia all fourteen generations, and from the carrying away into Mesopotamia unto the Mashiach all fourteen generations. Mm -hmm. Now the birth of Yahshua Hamashiach was on this while with this wise. I'm sorry. When as his mother, Mary was his spouse to Yosef, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Then Yosef, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Adonai appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Yosef, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahshua, for he shall save his people from their sins. That's the same thing that Luke said. He shall save his people from their sin. The Hebrews. If the Hebrews wouldn't be saved, none of the other nations could be saved because That's all right. the covenant Israel was all the covenants was made with the Holy Seed, and Israel was the recipient of all the covenants. Mm. Go ahead and read. But see, that's why they don't read the prophets in the church. Because the prophets told you exactly what the deal was. And they don't want to deal with that, brother. Christ nailed all of that to the cross. In other words, what they're telling me is all of the holy things that Yahweh said that he was going to bring to pass upon this earth, he lied about. It. And it's impossible for Yahweh to lie. If somebody just misun misinterpreted what was said in the scripture, and that was the problem. They called themselves interpreters, and they were told, the scripture of not is not of your private interpretation. Mm -hmm. Holy men spoke as they were moved by the will of Elohim. Search the scriptures. New Testament is not scriptures. Well, you know, Moses, Moshe told the people when he gathered them together, he said, you shall not do this day every man the things that is right in the sight of his eyes. Mm -hmm. Right? That, that's right. what the Christians are doing. Of course they do, brother. That's why they got all the money. Uh, <laughs> the people love it so, man. People hide in preachers and say, don't, don't, don't you talk about that Bible now. Mm -hmm. See? Don't you go back in there dealing with all them covenants and everything that that old mean God had to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Because we got sweet Jesus. Right. <laughs> See? You tell us what he had to say. And all he said is, come unto me, all you that labor and heav heavily lady, and I get you, I give you rest. All you got to do is believe. The devil believed. And like he told him, said, Lucifer, you done deceived yourself. You actually believe that stuff. Don't you know I'm God? You done actually deceive yourself. No one of them folks down there on earth is living the way that they live it. Now they got it to where when you die, you go zip tang into heaven. Ain't no, ain't no waiting for the resurrection of the dead and everything. You die, they bring them dead bodies in the church on, on what they call holy ground. They're going to bring a dead body in there and then uh, 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 either bury it on, on the ground out there, right, until you say, he in heaven now. When the Messiah re was resurrected from the dead, he said, touch me, feel me, it's I myself. Spirits don't have flesh and blood as you see me have. We're supposed to be like the Messiah, but they're going to be spirits. I mean, he go to heaven instantly. I mean, the Messiah had to stay here three days. <laughs> go on and read, brother. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 1, verse 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Adonai by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is Elohim with us. Then Yosef, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Adonai had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, firstborn son and he called his name Yahshua. Now, in my book here, it's got, listen to this now. Show you what them, how them Gentiles do things. Listen to this. It says, the Greek form of the Hebrew, Yahshua, or Yahshua, right? Meaning the Savior, right? It's not. Look up the word Jesus and it said the Son of God. It don't say nothing about no Greek form or nothing. We know that the brother's name was Yahshua, which may, means Yahweh's salvation. Mm -hmm. In English, they got the name Joshua. Mm -hmm. 
which means God's salvation. But you notice they didn't call him Joshua. They, they gave him a, a, a name, didn't they? Jesus, son of Zeus. So what they did was they already got all this. They got all the gods today right around us. And we see them and don't even know it. They named all the planets. They named all the days of the week. They named all of the months, and they did what? Name them after men or either of them pagan deities, right? And we call on these names daily, not even knowing the Lucifer and all that stuff. See? But go ahead and read on. Uh, Thank you. I said, just about those names, you know, the, the, the Greek name for Sivir, Sotirion, mm -hmm. right? And then we got Sal, Salvera, it's Latin. Mm -hmm. So if you can say, you got the name, Yah, and then the verb, like, show means to save. So, Correct, my brother. But see, we don't understand these things because, see, we don't, they, uh, in the church today, brother, it's a form of entertainment, mm -hmm. you see. So they really don't tell the people anything. That's why so many people go to church and they, the preacher be talking, they be waiting for the punchline, but he never gets there. <laughs> He never gets there. You know why? He don't know what the punchline is. Like the Messiah said, you don't know what you worship. We know what we worship because salvation is of the Jews. Now, that's what the Master said. But what people tell me today is that the Messiah lied to y'all. Salvation is of the Christian. You've got to be a Christian. To, well, Christian means follower of Christ, Christ's life, right? Christ himself said, which one of y'all convinced me of sin? So you know, y'all know I've been walking blameless among you, right? Well, then, if he walked blameless, he walked in all the laws of God then, right? Folks today don't know nothing about law. They have the foggiest idea of what law is all about. Well, go ahead and read, Steve. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Yahshua was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Born who? King of the Jews. Not king of the Christians. Mm -hmm. Now, and we get, y'all know what we get in that nativity scene about the we three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel, travel afar, songs that the nations gave us, right? And we know all these folks are Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the Mashiach should be born. Mm -hmm. Hold up, brother. And brother, when the governor or the mayor is troubled, we trouble with him, right? Of course. We gonna, when, 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 when the president, the mayor, and the governor, the governor is troubled, just like you said, brother, we're going to do everything we can to make sure the master feel all right. Mm -hmm. See? We're going to do everything we can to, to satisfy master. But master ain't doing nothing to satisfy us. See? Mm -hmm. Massa was the one that told us we was that we was Negroes. Massa was the one that told us we was niggers. See? Massa was the one that told us we was Africans. But according to history, we're not. So we can't believe in what Massa say. We can we can look at Massa's technology and, and utilize it, but as far as his doctrine is concerned, you better get out and read yourself because if you don't, Massa is never going to tell you who you are. Yeah, go ahead and read, Steve. Verse 5. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Yehuda, art not least among the princes of Yehuda. For out of you shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Amen. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, Bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Hmm. When they had heard the king, they departed, 
And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child and Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. These were the expensive things that uh, uh, that you gave to kings. Right. And they came, and if you notice here now, a lot of the Muslims like to get in here and say, well, see, over there it said he was in a stable. Over here it said it was in a house. These wise men, the Messiah had been born, they didn't stay in that stable forever. They had moved in a house by time... By the time these men came from, uh, came from Europe to Israel, they was in the house, and it was a young child, and it wasn't no more little baby. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 12. And being warned of Elohim in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Mm -hmm. And when they were departed, Behold, the angel of the Adonai appears to Yosef in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be you there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Adonai by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. We keep reading where it was fulfilled that was said by the prophets, fulfilled that was said by the prophets, but we only get maybe a verse or so. If we go back and pick that up and read, a whole lot of stuff was said. But we don't understand these things because the people that, that are teaching us, they're not interested in us learning the truth in the word of Yahweh. What they're inter interested in doing is living good, riding, riding around in $500,000 cars and living in mansions and so forth. That's what they're interested in. Let's go into uh, uh, chapter 15 and read verse 21 through verse 28, my brother. Matthew 15 and verse 21 through verse 28. The wise men came from where they had been scattered, and our people had been scattered. Huh? They said they came from the east, but it was Babylon, wasn't it? Not necessarily. Not necessarily when you look at where uh, Israel is com uh, compared to uh, Babylon. It could have been from east, uh, and it could have been from Europe, because our people at, at this time, remember that Jacob had been, Israel had been scattered all over the uh, Europe and Asia in 721 B.C. So uh, when he said from the east, the only thing I got out of that is they came from east of Jerusalem. When you look, when you look east of Jerusalem and northeast of Jerusalem, you got the Middle East and you got uh, uh, Europe where our people were scattered from. So I can't just say that they were, they came from um, uh, 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 from, from, from from Iraq. I have to believe that they came from uh, from the uh, all, all of the other nations. Maybe I'm wrong in that, but that's what I have to believe. Uh, go ahead and read, Steve. Mm -hmm. We had a large, much larger population that was scattered all over Europe and Asia. And on the day of uh, Pentecost, uh, uh, after the Messiah's resurrection, there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men that came from every nation under heaven. You know, so, uh, so I can't really pinpoint whether they came from uh, uh, Iraq or whether they came from Europe because our people had been scattered uh, well, that's something I really can't pinpoint. So what I do is, uh, if we want to deal with them coming from Mesopotamia, I don't have any problem with that. If we want to deal from them coming from Europe and Asia, I have no problem with that either because our people, we had nine tribes that had been colonized over there, uh, over in that area, se over 700 years before the Messiah was born. Uh, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, read, Steve. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. Then Yahshua went thence, 
and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Adonai, you son of Dawid. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Mm -hmm. But he answered her, Not a word. And his, disciple, his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then what I hear, what I hear, well, he was sent to save the world. He said, I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what I have to deal with, what the Messiah said. Go ahead, brother. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Adonai, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children bread and to cast it to dogs. Mm. And she said, True, Adonai, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Mm -hmm. Then Yahshua answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your faith. Bid unto you even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. She, he gave him the gift, but you notice one thing? He didn't give The only doctrine he gave her uh -huh. was that I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and it's not right to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. Uh, let's go into Acts chapter 13, and let's read verse 14 through verse 43. Huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. Uh-huh. Let's go into Acts chapter 13 and read verse 14 through verse 43. Let's see what was said uh, uh, pertaining to these things in those books. 13 verse Acts chapter 13, verse 14 through verse 43. Acts chapter 13 and verse 14 through verse 43. Yes, sir. Let's pick up some things that Paul was uh, talking about that happened to Paul when he was in Antioch in, in, uh, in Pisidia. Yeah, let's see what he, uh, what he was talking when he was riding them Gentiles. Let's see what he had to say. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. But when, they were de but when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. That before they changed it. So they went in the synagogue on the same day that we have church, don't mm -hmm. didn't they? Mm -hmm. Same day, didn't they? Okay, go ahead, brother. Verse 15. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, You men and brethren, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Now what was they reading? The law and the prophets. Mm. They don't read that in church today. Mm. Well, Paul and the, and the folks was reading it, right? Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 16. Then Saul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you that fear Elohim, give audience. He addressed two people, the men of Israel and the nations, the Gentiles that was in there that was going to church with our people at that time, mm -hmm. right? And that's why they was assembling on Yahweh's holy Sabbath day, right? Okay, go ahead, brother. Verse 17. The Elohim of this people of Israel chose our fathers, and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt, and with a high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. Mm -hmm. And after that he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and fifty years, on to Samuel the prophet. You notice what he's doing? He's telling the history. He's going back into the uh, Old Testament and bringing up the history. Like I keep saying, this is a history book. This ain't got nothing to do with religion. See, go ahead and read. And again, you put it on, you put it on the spot, Elder. You've been telling us religion means to hold back or conceal the truth. Mm -hmm. This, That's book, all is, this mean. book is revealing everything to you about of course it the is. history of the children of Israel. All you have to have is a teacher, brother. That's all you have to have. The teacher to show you what, what Yahweh actually said himself and how these things were verified by the prophets. But if you deal, it in, deal with it in verses and phrases, you'll never get it. And you'll yes, never sir. find your salvation. Go ahead and read, brother. Same, that's the 
the time period they're still speaking about the prophecy in the Old Testament. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They came, all that came before uh, the year zero came down, uh, the year of the common era, all that stuff. Uh, go ahead and move you on. Yes, sir. Verse 20. Verse 21, I'm sorry. And afterwards they desired a king, and Elohim gave unto them Saul, the son of Sis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of 40 years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them Dawi to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found Dawi, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed have Elohim, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Yahshua. Hey, you got to be quiet in here. When Yohanan had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as Yohanan fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think you that I am? I am not he, but behold, there comes one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Mm -hmm. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fears Elohim, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. Now in verse 27 it says, For they that dwell at, at, at Salem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him, right? Let's look at something else they fulfilled by one of the prophets. Not just the thing that, that, that uh, uh, Jeremiah and Isaiah and all the major prophets had to say, but let's look at something that the Moshe had to say. Moshe said, in the 14th day of the first month, you, sh uh, 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 you shall take a lamb. You shall kill a lamb, right? Passover, right? Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for who? For the children of Israel. And the nations was grafted into our tree. You see, but that's not what we get into uh, today. What we get is this. Y'all drafted in our tree. You're going to be a Baptist. You're going to be a Methodist. You're going to be a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. Choose it like you like. Don't make no difference which one. Come to me just where you are. Don't make no difference whether you're homosexual or whatever. Just come to me the way you are. Yahweh said, there be no sodomites in Israel. Okay. Go ahead and read. But, but what do we do today? We let them come in among us and everything, man, and act just like ain't nothing wrong with them. Says, man, ain't no faggots supposed to be around here. See? But we don't want to offend. So we put up with that junk, right? Right. Well, look what Mr. Kerry was talking about right down to that last week, brother. He said, uh, you know, I think homosexuals and all, they have rights, and they, and, and they should be acknowledged as people in this abortion thing, right? And after he said that, you notice where his votes went to, don't you? He ended up. The first day of the week in one of those Christian churches, in our churches, brother, that he made all those abominable statements. Where you expect him to go? He got to come to us, but the Europeans don't want to get, deal with him anymore. They got to get about our approval, but we decided to give our approval to George Bush mm. because the church was behind him. Mm. Go ahead and read, brother. And George Bush going to cause us more problems than we ever had in our life. Just watch. Right. Yeah. He ain't got but a few more years, brother. In that few years, George Bush going to do some things, brother. Just watch. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 29. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. After they had fulfilled all that was written of him, right? Mm -hmm. They brought him down. Well, where was it written? It was written in the Old Testament. If we don't go back and read what was actually said that he would bring about, then people can tell you anything. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 30. But Israel raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you, glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, Israel hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he hath raised up Yahshua again. As it is also written in the second psalm, you are my son, 
this day have I begotten you. Hmm. And as concerning that he raised them up from the dead, now no more to return to no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise I will give you the sure mercies of thy weed. Mm -hmm. Wherefore he says also in another psalm, thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Mm -hmm. For thy weed, after he had served his own generation by the will of Elohim, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. Mm -hmm. But he, whom Israel raised again, saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moshe. Mm -hmm. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, you despisers, and wander and perish. For I work a work in your days, a work which you shall in no wise believe, though a man declared unto you. You see how much trouble you have te teaching this doctrine to people? Mm -hmm. Because they don't believe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Verse 42. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Euro Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Shabbat. Mm -hmm. And when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Saul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of Elohim. And what is a religious proselyte? A convert to Judaism. They didn't change the religion uh, uh, or the culture that they practiced. What happened was the people just gave them a label. Uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 14 through chapter 5 and verse 10. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 14 through chapter 5 and verse 10. Of course. Yeah, I know, bro. People just don't read, man. I don't know what people be thinking. Yes, I do. I know what they be thinking of. They be thinking of what they have to say the devil is talking about. People don't want to hear the truth, man. The truth hurts. You know why? We want Master to be saved with us. The Master going to be saved, but according to the doctor, he ain't going to run nothing so you can forget that. He ain't going to run things because he told us in the prophet Zechariah, he told Judas, unto you shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Zion. Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4, and pick that up at verse 14, my brother. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passing to the heavens, Yahshua, the son of Elohim, let us hold fast our profession. A great high priest. The Messiah became the high priest, and the house of Israel began to fulfill the covenant that was made with our fathers under Moshe when he said, You shall be a kingdom of priests unto me. But he chose Levi and had Levi the priest until the Messiah came in the time of Reformation, and then the Messiah came out of Judah, and he became high priest. Now Paul came out of Benjamin. Right, the apostles were uh, most of the apostles were Galileans, so uh, a Judite. So we can very well see now the priesthood is spread it to the whole twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Verse fifteen: For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Mm -hmm. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to Elohim that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, mm -hmm. who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, mm -hmm. for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. Mm -hmm. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. Mm -hmm. And no man takes this honor unto himself, but he that is called of Elohim, as was Aaron. Praise God. So also the Mashiach glorified not himself to be made in high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Mm -hmm. As he says also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh 
when he had offered up prayers and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Hmm. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Call of Elohim, a high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing you are dull of hearing. Hmm. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Elohim, mm -hmm. and are become such as have need of milk and not of knowledge. Mm -hmm. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Mm -hmm. But knowledge belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Amen, my brother. I don't want to go no further than that. Now let's go and let's go and see what Peter had to say about this. Now let's go into uh, now all these people we've read, these prophets, they can't be lying now. See, but people don't know these things, and I wonder why it's in, it's in the same book they got. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go into First Peter two and read verse one through verse twelve. Yeah. <coughs> let every man be true. Let every man let God be true, but every man that lies, it is written that you might be justified in your saying and overcome when you are judged. It's got to be according to what's written down and not according to what people interpret. So let's go and see what Peter had to say to or the children of Israel. Uh, 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 and when you read, the best thing to do when you read these books, especially young folks that are uh, the uh, new people that's coming in. When you get ready to read the book, something in either one of these books, go back into the beginning of that specific epistle and find out who it was written to and why it was written to those people. And you might learn something. Uh, you might find out who's talking to who about what. And that's what people don't understand. Who is talking to who about what? They just lump everything together, and that's the way, way they're able to keep that lie going. But let's go in uh, 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 1 Peter 2 and pick that up at verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. If so be, you have tasted that the Adonai is gracious. To whom coming, as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Elohim and precious. Now listen to what he got to say to Israel now. If we get back in the first beginning of this book, and he told you to the strangers scattered abroad. That was Israel that had been scattered all over to the known world, right? Okay, go ahead and read what he told me. Read, read, start at verse 5 there, brother, and read what he said to Israel. Verse 5. You also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Elohim by Yahshua, Hey, that's what the prophets had to say. We were going to be a kingdom of priests. Uh, we were going to be the house of Yahweh. Uh, uh, when we get back into Micah 4, it tells you, but in the last days, the mountain of the house of Yahweh shall be established in the top of the mountain, and all nations uh, shall flow unto it. And many nations shall come and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Mm. You see, and that's word for word. That's book. Mm. You know, Elder, you see how the Gentiles and Gentiles into this priesthood because they killed Peter on Vatican Hill, right? They didn't build that church. I'm mm -hmm. talking to himself on this rock. I build my church. The Messiah was talking about himself. He told Peter, say, you're a rock. Right. But on this rock, I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell should not prevail against him because he gave Peter the keys. See, Pe people, they kill Peter then built St. Peter's Basilica on top of him, and now the Pope say, I'm a direct successor of St. Peter. How can it be when Paul told us in the book of Romans, Israel was given all the holy things of God. We, are, we were created for one purpose, to represent Yahweh on earth before mm -hmm. men, and we've never did it, and it's going to happen when the Messiah set up his kingdom. How can man be saved before we be saved? 
It don't make sense. And the covenants wasn't made. Paul told them, say, you're a wild olive tree. You've been grafted into this tree here contrary to nature. They just took over the tree. Go ahead and read, bro. First Peter chapter 2, verse 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believes on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Being disobedient because they were appointed to disobedient. Like I keep telling people, folks, you can't serve the Creator unless He wants you to. You can't serve my God unless He wants you to. Go ahead, bro. Verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Israel, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Mm -hmm. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Euro Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify Yahweh in the day of visitation. Okay, my brother. Well, let's go and see what one of the prophets had to say about this. Let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 4 through verse 9. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 4 through verse 9. See, all you got to do is know the keys to reading this book. And everything fall right in place for you. But if you don't know the key, you'll walk around talking about a whole lot of yin yang that you can't prove. Correct, correct. Isaiah chapter 61, and pick that up in verse 4. And they shall build the oasis, they shall raise up the form of desolations, and they shall repel the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Hmm. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the son of the alien shall be your plowman and your vine dresser. But you shall be named the priest of Yahweh. Ain't that's what we just read in the New Testament? Didn't they verify this? You shall be the priest of Yahweh. Not the Gentiles, not the Africans, not the, the, the Antichrist over there in the Middle East. You shall be uh, 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 the priest of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Men shall call you the ministers of our Elohim. You shall eat the riches of the Euro Gentiles. And in their glory shall you boast yourself. When the Messiah set up this kingdom, all this technology that man is coming up with, brother, all that is as well. These are the things that we're going to use to do what? To run the earth so that the earth will prosper from these things, so that man himself will prosper from these things instead of some people over there sitting in the corner or some, some five, Fortune 500 company. Go ahead, brother. Verse 7. For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. The Gentiles is going to rejoice in the things that they receive, brother. You know why? They've never had peace among them. For, one, for the first time in their life, uh, men is going to beat their swords and the plowshares and their spears and the pruning hooks, and nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. The only thing they got to do is come and walk in the light of, uh, 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 of the Adonai. But go ahead and read, brother. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Hmm. Verse 8. For I, Yahweh, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. With the children of Israel, right? right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9. And their seed shall their be... Seed 
Sing a seed. Their seed shall be known among the Euro Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which Yahweh has blessed. Mm-hmm. You can't get around that. You can't get around that. Their seed, and uh, we're talking about Yahshua right here, beginning right here. Correct. When it begins in chapter 9, that seed to come out from among our people. It said, and the their seed, and they spring among the people. It's right. talking about the house of Israel. Yeah. All of the seeds of the house of Israel. It's uh, uh, the house of Israel had 12 seeds planted right. in them, in it, right? And they're the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And truly, when you get in Revelation 12, it, it can't be anything but the 12 tribes of Israel because the 12 tribes of Israel is the one that's represented in heaven. Mm-hmm. No other nation is represented in heaven in this book here except the, the 12 tribes of Israel in Revelation 12. Mm-hmm. The woman clothed with the sun, the moon on her feet, and the crown of 12 stars on her head. It was that woman that brought forth the man child that was going to rule all nations. Well, that was the house of Israel then, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. This is why Yahweh said, I'm married to you. Yeah, I, I just wanted, I know this is, when it says seed down here, this is talking about a nation at the very end of the verse. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to know was that seed, you know, when it was saying that, that the holy seed was going to be the substance there when they mentioned that with Zachariah, mm-hmm. I was just wondering, did they have anything to do well, with Well, what I get this for, well, when you get back up into the beginning of it and start reading it, brother, uh, the Messiah told how the spirit of the Lord was upon him. He told us what he came to do the first time he showed up on the scene. Uh, and the reference in that is Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. Mm-hmm. And then he cut it off said, this day is this scripture fulfilled okay. in your eye, right. in your ear. And then uh, you pick it up in verse 3, he said, to an, a point unto them that mourn in Zion. And uh, verse 4 said, And they shall build the old waste, and strangers shall stand and feed your flock. Right? And verse 6 it said, But you shall be named the priest of Yahweh. Verse 7 it said, For your shame you have double. Verse 8 said, For I, Yahweh, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Verse 9, and their seeds shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring, so he's really talking about, uh, this is why he keeps saying their and, and your. He's talking about the whole nation of uh, Israel. Okay. okay, go ahead. That was it, El. Okay, okay. You finished that? Four okay. Five, uh, four through nine. Okay. This is the, what we've read. This is the word concerning the foundation laid in, in Zion before the foundation of the earth. So how these things work, uh, how these uh, 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 works of Elohim would come upon the earth, surely all of the holy prophets from Enoch through the apostles and disciples show us Yahweh's word in action. Mm. But there's another so-called New Testament doctrine founded by Euro Gentiles. Mm. And not one of the prophets of the Holy Seed make mention of what the religions of, uh, 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 of the nations lay claim to. None of them verify those things. Therefore, you are the generation called to bear witness of the spirit works of Yahweh Elohim in the earth. And you can't get around it. All of the prophets and all the people in the New Testament verify these things. We have to ask yourself, why don't we never hear this in church? It's the word, ain't it? Okay. 90, 99% of the things we just read came out of the New Testament, didn't it? but you don't get them in church. And that's what they build up their churches on, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go and, the word, right. let's, go and, let's go and see what Paul told, uh, told some Gentiles in Corinth. Let's go and, uh, 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 we're talking about white folks when we say Gentiles. Let's understand that. And when you get back up, in, I mean, the, the church has done told us we the Jews are Gentiles. Get back up into Genesis 10 and see who the Gentiles uh, were. Get, take all the sons of Yaphet and, 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 and look them up in the in, 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 in encyclopedic, diction, encyclopedic Dictionary of the Bible and you'll find out they're all Europeans. So let's go and see what Paul told the Europeans and his doctrine toward, the, toward them. Let's go into 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 1 through verse 10. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 1 through verse 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Like the scripture says, brother, let every man be true. Let God be true, but every man a liar. So let's let the word, let's let the word of his service be true to us then. Second Corinthians chapter uh, six. And Brother Steve, read verse uh, one through verse ten. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of Elohim in vain. Mm -hmm. For he says, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. How can we give offense unless we violate the law? See? You can't offend if there's no law pertaining to that. Go ahead. Law governs everything but man. But man. man, law governs everything but man. Have you ever seen a deer having a, a foals uh, uh, in the winter? No. They have them in the spring. See, have you ever seen birds migrating uh, 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 from where, they, where they're nesting at in the summertime? No, they migrate in the winter. You see, everything obeys the word except man. You get a new moon every 30 days, every 29 and a half days, right? The sun rises every 24 hours on, got, like clockwork. You still got four seasons in the year, right? The planets ain't running in each other. Right? Only man is the only thing. Once man was created and put on this earth, everything went health to skelter. <laughs> everything did. Even the animals, after the flood, the animals had to turn on man. <laughs> right. Hey, you know what, Elder, like, like we was talking about, when that tsunami hit, Yahweh instructed those animals, then the angel of the Lord, right? Didn't they go up into the hills? None of them got killed. Folks watched around looking at what animals going on. These are going up in the hills and everything. Going, going they just getting the away from around y'all. Too many of y'all down here on these beaches and everything. Y'all disturbing animals. Uh-uh. The animals knew that tsunami was coming. And do you know animals can see the wind? Now check that out. That's something we can't even see. And animals can see the wind, man. They know when that weather's coming. They get out of dodge. And we stand around there just like ain't nothing happening. The whole sky fall out on us. <laughs> yeah. Go on and read, brother. And I'll tell you another thing, too. You can tell just as good when it's going to be a, 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 a cold winter. Look at how the fur builds up on animals. But we don't grow no extra hair, do we? Yeah. See, Yahweh's work, Yahweh protects everything. And he shows us how to protect ourselves. But we don't want his protection. That's why, we, that's why we captives here in this country here today. We ain't got, that's why we ain't got no king, no prince, no holy things of our own because these curses and because we follow master. See, we won't be, be just like Mike. If whatever Mike got, Mike buy him a $500,000 car, we want a $500,000 car. Mike move out in Stone Mountain, we move out in Stone Mountain. I know you can learn things off the jack about secret they can happen first, but we see they're back. people really caught up in that word, you know, the woman real life, you know? Mm -hmm. Man, we love the way the Romans live, man. Man, the Romans brought them gladiators up on us, didn't they? Didn't they? Had them big arenas, man, throwing black folks in them arenas, man, with them wild animals and everything. Now you look around, we got them big, them big uh, basketball stars and football players, man, and we crazy about them, right? And then the entertainers, they give us some rappers. See? They ain't talking about nothing, but they give us some rappers. Rappers. When I came over, we had a message in the music. See? No, they ain't talking about nothing. Absolutely nothing. And, and guess what? We crazy about them. See, they talking about hoes and pimps. Right. Pimps and hoes. That's, and that's just what we, that's what the nation look at us to be, a bunch of pimps and hoes. And we know it. Because America washes our, our dirty linen on satellite TV. That's why I don't nobody want to come and live in our neighborhoods. Because they say this is a sottish, foolish people. But go ahead and finish up. Brother Baruch speech. had a question. Brother. Yeah, go ahead. You no, know, I was I was saying, my brother, that they didn't put it out now. They they got homosexual animals. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> homosexual animals. Yeah. You say they put them out. Put it out. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're speaking on that. Area. I was looking at the animal planet, and they said dogs, uh, city dogs, have a more more prone action to that because it's not 
enough or they'll type in the city. I caught that on the Discovery Channel about three years ago. I, yeah. I didn't think it was relevant though, so. Yeah, like the brought, like, 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 like just got it on this bar that hired the sodomite, right? And the sodomite uh, 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 brought his dog to work, right? And had the dog sitting up on the corner. And the owner told him, say, now, uh, if you're stealing my money, I'm going to cut your hand off. If I catch you giving away my drinks, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. Now kiss me and go to work. <laughs> then the owner's dog came in, and that little dog, that sodomite's dog on the counter, looked at that owner's dog and said, bow, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. Them sodomites, man, look, they got sodomite churches. Everything in it, pink and black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. Uh, the, the, the Messiah, Yahweh did not make Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve. Now, we can pacify. Say, well, that's my friend, right? Pretty soon, if you don't watch it, you'll be in the bed with your friend. Uh, go on and read, brother. Yeah. I was reading that they, they recently legalized the gay marriages in Canada. They already did. What is it? Canada? Five other states in America have legalized same-sex marriages. Man, people are against what your creator had to say. Man does what he wants to do. Look at the whole, okay, show me Christmas, Easter, Halloween, All Hallows, Hallows Eve, right, and New Year, show me them things written in the scripture. See, all these are things that man brought up on the earth, and we run hell skelter behind them. You know why? We love, we please ourselves in the ways of strangers. Okay, okay. Knowing all the time Christ wasn't born in December 25th. It's the day of the winter solstice. It, it, and if you go back and check it out, people was already observing that day before, long before Christ was born. Them pagans were. They just, only thing they did to all these pagan uh, 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 doctrines we got today is added the Messiah to them. That's all they did. Well, they added their Jesus to them. I put it to you that way. Well, go ahead now. Uh, where we at, Steve? Yes, sir. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4. Okay. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of Elohim, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Elohim, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Okay, my brother, chapter 2 in verse 14 through chapter 4 in verse 11. Chapter 2 in verse 14 through chapter 4 in verse 11. Verse 14. Now thanks be unto Elohim, which always causes us to triumph in the anointed one and makes manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto Elohim a sweet Savior of the Messiah in them that are saved and in them that perish. Hmm. To the one, we are the Savior of death unto death, and to the other, the Savior of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? Hmm. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of Elohim, but as sincerity, but as of Elohim, in the sight of Elohim, speak we in the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others, epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you? We don't need you to verify what we got to say. I mean, we got spirit. The works is going to verify itself. Go ahead, brother. Verse 2, you are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of the Messiah, 
ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living Elohim, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. And such trust have we through the Messiah to Elohim was. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of Elohim, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Right, Paul telling these people, man, we don't need no letters of recommendation from y'all, man. We got the spirit. What we need y'all to recommend us for, uh, for. Go ahead, brother. Verse 7. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadily behold the face of Moshe for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect, by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that remains is glorious. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moshe, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded. For unto this day remains the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in the Messiah. Not the Old Testament was done away with, but the veil, the people had a problem in the Old Testament. They knew that Yahweh was going to save all the nations, but the problem was they didn't know how. That was the mystery. Yahweh created all flesh, and we, when we read in the law book, provisions was made for the strangers that, uh, 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 that uh, 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 dwelt among us, right? So the veil that was cast over our people had to do with one thing, them not knowing how Yahweh was going to do certain things because they didn't, they didn't have certain prophecies that we have today. That's why they mis, uh, 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 misunderstood the coming of Christ, and all they had to do was go into 70 weeks of Daniel and put Christ on the, on, on, uh, on the scene the same year that he got his baptism. But th that veil was over their eyes, just like the veil was over our eyes pertaining to certain things until 1969 when the book of, Re uh, 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 the book of Revelation was open. But go ahead and read, brother. See, certain prophecies got to be fulfilled before you can move to the next step. This is why the Messiah said, watch. See, watch what? Watch Yahweh's word coming to pass. Watch his word coming to pass. That way you'll know how close you are to your salvation. See, Christians say Christ can come any day. No, he can't. Christ cannot come any day. Christ cannot come until the EU set up that new world order and put the Roman Empire on the earth and that nasty pope get in the temple and say he's God. See, that's, he got to come after that. And that hasn't happened yet. So when they tell you the Messiah can come any day, it's the biggest lie ever been told. He can send a death angel for you any day. But he can't show up on this earth till certain things happen. And folks tell me he's going to show up and suck folks up in the air and go back to heaven. Then he's going to come back and show up again. Get in the book of Revelation and read about the destruction of the wicked. That's all you got to do. Look in the book of Revelation and read about the destruction of the wicked, and you're going to see a whole lot of things that hasn't taken place yet. So how can the Messiah come unless these things take, uh, take place? If he does, he make his God a lie, right? Then we might as well pack up and go out and boogie. Yeah. You know, you, you were saying it's, it's a good, you know, all we have to do is just watch the word of uh, the creator take its course. That was the same thing in the beginning when he said, and the word was, when, when he said, uh, let that be light, mm -hmm. he said, it happened. It happened. Right. Right. And everything, like you always said, I don't do anything till I tell my servants the prophets first. Nobody read the prophets. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's why everybody walking to my, like, right, right, right next door there. Woman got a sign in the window say, all things are possible if you just believe. No, all things ain't possible. I don't care how much you believe it. Okay. Okay. It ain't, it, it ain't possible. 
for people to go to heaven. You know why? Christ said, no man goes to heaven except him who come down from heaven. And when you get in the book of Revelation, now, Revelation was written in the year uh, 96, between 96 and 98 A.D. John the Revelator, they had put him on the, Isle of, on the penal colony on Patmos because he was out here talking the word, and they wanted to lock that brother up, and they had shut him down. And when you go and read the things that John had to say, it don't jive with the things that people are talking about today. You know why? Simply because Lucifer got his thing up here on the earth, and man, what, I mean, what great, what greater thing can you be told than this? You don't have to do nothing God say. All you got to do is believe in Jesus, and he going to take you off to heaven. In the book of Revelation, how many people did you see in heaven? Now, this is in the year 98. The Messiah died in 33. This is the year 98. This is 65 years later, right? How many people was in heaven? 24 elders, and all of them come out the nation of Israel, out of the holy scene. You see? Well, where was all these people that died after the Messiah's death up until that time? Huh? Where were they? Now, we know that more than 24 people died in 68 years, 65 years, don't we? Okay. Well, he said, Yahshua said, the meek shall inherit the earth, right? Yeah. Then Psalms, what, 115, 116 say, the heavens, even the heavens are heavens of Yahweh, but the earth have he given to the sons of men. Of course. That's what he said now. Of That's course. That's what the psalmist had to say about and it. And David's throne was not be set up in heaven. It's going to be a divided kingdom, and people don't know that. It's going to be set up in Jerusalem, Israel. Right. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, where you at, Steve? Uh, I'm in Second Corinthians chapter three, verse fifteen. Put some in your book. Y'all put some in your book. Let's go back in. Uh, let's go back in the prophet Zechariah. Let's read some things that Zechariah uh, uh, had to say. Uh, I want to go back into Zechariah chapter, I think I want to go to Zechariah chapter 8. I think that's where I want to go. Let's go back to Zechariah chapter 8. And brother, I want you to pick this up uh, at verse, uh, pick this up. I want you to pick this up at chapter 7. Uh, I don't want to read too much of this. I'm getting, I'm kind of getting uh, uh, off in a, a little bit, a few other things. But let's go into uh, Zechariah chapter 7 and pick that up at verse, uh, 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 verse 13. Uh, Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 13. And we're going to read down through uh, 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 chapter 8. Yeah, yeah. Zechariah 7 and verse 14, we're going to read down uh, 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 through chapter 8. Go ahead. Verse 13, Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear says Yahweh of hope. Mm -hmm. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them that no man passed through nor returned. Mm -hmm. For they laid the pleasant land desolate. Mm -hmm. Again, the word of Yahweh of hosts came to me saying, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I was jealous for Yehuda with great jealousy, and I was great jealous for her with great fury. Thus says Yahweh, I am returned unto Yehuda. I'm returned unto Judah. Mm -hmm. You see what he said? I have returned unto Judah, right? Go ahead, brother. And we'll dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of Yahweh of hosts, the holy mountain. Mm -hmm. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. Mm -hmm. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets mm -hmm. thereof. Mm -hmm. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, If it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, 
Should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, says Yahweh of hosts. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, let your hands be strong. You that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of Yahweh of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. Mm -hmm. For before these days there was no high for man, nor any high for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. For I set all men, everyone, against his neighbor. That's why we can't get together and buy a bag of potato chips. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Verse 12. Verse 11, I'm sorry. But now I will not be unto the residue of this people as in the former days, says Yahweh of hosts. Mm -hmm. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. And it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathen, O house of Yehuda and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. And you shall be a blessing, Israel. I'm going to save you, and you're going to be a blessing. Huh? What you think it is that, that uh, 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 why you think it is you hear the word today? Because the house of Israel made a blessing to you. Mm. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. Verse 14. But thus says Yahweh of hosts, as I thought to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says Yahweh of hosts, and I repented not. So again have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Yehuda. Fear you not. Okay, now, brother, let's go into chapter 14 and pick this up uh, 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 at, I mean, chapter 13, and pick that up at, uh, uh, at verse, uh, verse 6. Chapter 13 and verse 6. Yes, sir. And one shall say unto him, what are these wounds in thine hands? Then shall he answer, those with which I was wounded in the house of my friend. When he come back, he said, what are these wounds was in your hands? He said, those were what I received in the house of my friends. Mm -hmm. See, remember when the Messiah was resurrected from the dead? Yes, he told his apostles, say, touch me, feel me, it's I myself. Right. Mm -hmm. Spirits don't have flesh and bone as you see me have. Told Thomas, say, stick your hand in my side. That's right. Say, stick your hand in the prints of my hand. Mm. Okay. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. When you see him, you still go ahead and print the same. Mm. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow, says Yahweh of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little they one. They killed the Messiah. The, the apostles, remember, when the persecution came up about stepping in the book of Acts, the apostles and disciples were scattered everywhere, went teaching the word, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm going to turn my hand upon the little ones. Mm -hmm. That's us. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, says Yahweh, two parts then shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Mm-hmm. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my Elohim. Mm -hmm. Behold, the day of Yahweh comes, and your spoil shall be divided in the midst of Everybody it. waiting for the day of the Lord, right? He said, Behold, the day of Yahweh comes, and your spoil shall be divided in the midst of you. That means that and when we get in the last chapter of Zechariah, it tells us that uh, uh, they're going to go forth, and they're going to gather up all the bounty from all them dead bodies and everything, didn't he? Mm. Didn't he? And that's in the last yes, chapter of Zechariah. Yes, sir. Everything that's going to take place when the Messiah comes is written right in this book here. We don't get that. What we get... We're going to meet the Lord in the air. We're going to forever be with the Lord. 
Go on and read, Steve. Verse 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off. He's from talking the city. about the war of Armageddon. When all the nations are going to come up to Jerusalem to do battle, right? Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Verse 3. Then shall the Messiah go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives. The Messiah is going to show up, and he's coming right back where he left from, the Mount of Olives. Didn't, there, didn't, the, angel, uh, didn't the angel Gabriel told, tell uh, the apostles, say you, when the Messiah was ascending, they said, you men of Galilee, why do y'all stand gazing into the heaven? The same way he left is the same way he's going to come back with the clouds of heaven, and he's coming right back to the same spot that he rose from, the Mount of Olives. That's in Jerusalem. The people that's going to rise up and meet him in the air, the dead, then the live ride up and meet him, they ain't going to hang in there. They're coming to the Mount of Olives. The Lord has come here to do battle. Our people got to be saved. Look at our kids today. Look at their state of our people today. Don't y'all know these kids coming up out of school and looking down that tunnel and ain't no light in it? Ain't no light in it. That's why they're acting stupid because they don't see nothing ahead of them. And we wondered why they rebelling. They rebelling because we went through that damn stupid civil rights movement and gave away the economic base in our neighborhood. Now we ain't got nothing to give them. And as you know, the proof is in the pudding out there. Why I live at in Clay County, brother, Victor Hill and Eldon Bell, they got something for them young kids. Of course they have. They getting ready to clean up houses. Of course they have. Them Hispanic gangs. They getting ready to do something. Bro. Brother, they locking up our kids. and They can't build jails fast enough to put our kids in. And what some of y'all need to do, some of y'all might need to go down to traffic court and go down to criminal court. And know what you're going to say? Man, ain't nobody committing crimes with black folks. We the only ones that don't know how to drive. Just, it's just us, Al. Huh? Just us. Just us. We just going down looking for justice, and that's what you find. Just us. Just us. <laughs> huh? right. If you don't think so. Go right over here to the Cab County Prison, uh, a jail. They got 2,600 people in that jail. 2,400 of them is us. At one time, we out, our women outnumbered us eight to one. Now because they got all our young men in jail, what's happening? They outnumbered us 12 to one. And this woman that used to be the, uh, uh, the president uh, of Spelman College, what did she write in the newspaper? We got such a shortage of men that our women is have to go, going to have to rely on what? Polygamy. Polygamy, she sure is. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. See? Why? Because they're locking us down. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 4. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south. Mm -hmm. And you shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal, Yea, you shall flee like as you fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Yehuda, and Yahweh my Elohim shall come, and all the saints with you. When the Messiah stand on the Mount of Olives, that Mount of Olives is going to bust in half, and part of it going to look and see where Azal is from Jerusalem. It's 20 miles away. Uh, he's going to create a valley 20 miles to do what? All that, remember when, when we read about uh, uh, the, 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 the angel uh, 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 in Revelation 11, mm -hmm. I think it is, where it said, and the angel was there came an angel that had a sickle in his hand, and another angel came out and meet him and say, Go out there and cast in your sickle and reap the, 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 the clusters of the vine. And put it, and he said, He reaped it, the earth was reaped, and he put it in the great wine press mm -hmm. of the Almighty, right? And the wine press was uh, treaded where outside the city, and the and the blood came up to the uh, 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 right. to the horses' bridles for a space of twenty miles. Mm. See, y'all ain't gonna kill off folks like it's going out of style. Brother, we talking about and folks talking about all you gotta do is believe. <laughs> <laughs> now, L, we talking about 
talking about from here to Douglas County. Of course. From right up that exit all the way right. that Bro, this high. 20 miles. Bro, this high. I mean, but when you look at one army in the book of Revelation, it was two million men in that army that came out of Asia that got killed. And then the Asian announced that we got a two million men standing army. Prophecy's right on the money. See? And we walk around with that. Yes, Jesus love me. <laughs> Go on and read, brother. Yes, sir. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 6. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to Yahweh, nor day nor night. But it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. Mm -hmm. And it shall be in that day that living water shall go out from Jerusalem, mm -hmm. half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea in summer and in winter shall it be. And Ezekiel said, I think it was Ezekiel, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, he said, and I looked, and there was a water that came out from the right side of the temple, right? And he said, I went out in it, and it water up to the ankles. Then I went out a little further, and it was waters you can swim in, right? And he said it had lead trees on each side of the river, and the leaves was falling on the trees, blowing out to the sea for the healing of the water. Because Yahweh had turned off, sent that red, uh, that, that red algae over the sea, and had turned all of the water on the earth to red, hadn't it? The same thing happened when our fathers was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. See, like I keep telling folks, y'all keep believing in that wooden God that y'all believe in. But when my God show up, brother, the earth is almost going to be unfit to live in. If you don't think so, read Revelation 8 and Revelation 16. Mm -hmm. Going to read, brother. Verse 9. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. All the land shall be turned as a plain from Jeba to Ramon south of Jerusalem. And it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate, unto the corner gate, and from the tower of Hannah Neal unto the king wine presses. Didn't the prophet tell us all the mountains going to fall down? Huh? And Jerusalem is going to be the highest point on the face of the earth. Why? Because it's the city of the great king. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 11. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Yahweh shall be among them. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. In other words, Yahweh, going after he started, started making them bodies and everything just burn up with that heat, after he started making them just burn up with that heat, what are he going to do? Turn them on each other, make them start fighting, off, fighting all of each other. The Lord's going to come in. And once he come in to destroy that army, Judah's going to be in the city. And when the Messiah come back into the city, truly it will be a city of peace. Mm -hmm. Just what it's named. That's what Salem means, mm -hmm. peace. And when the Messiah come back in there, he's going to come back in there. And Judah's going to be able to offer you, Judah. You're going to be able to offer him that kingdom. Say, so here's, your, here's your throne. Mm -hmm. Yahweh's going to, the Messiah's going to dwell among his people. And that's what all the prophets verify. But we don't get that when we go to church. You know why? Them folks worship Satan and we know it. That's why niggas go, I mean, that's why folks that go to church don't know nothing. Right. That's why they believe in all that garbage. Now let's go back in here and where we were in, uh, in 2 Corinthians. Uh, oh, wow. Teach, and pick brother. that up in 2 Teach Corinthians. You, I'm almost through. I'll be out of y'all hair in a minute. Let's go ahead and uh, finish up here, brother. 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 15. Chapter 15. Chapter 3, verse 15. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15. But even unto this day, when Moshe is read, the veil is upon their heart. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when Yisrael shall turn to the Adonai, 
the veil shall be taken away. The veil of Moshe, mm -hmm. right? The veil of the law will be taken away. People don't believe that they have to keep the law. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a judgment, mm -hmm. and y'all we have to have the same standards to judge you by that he is to judge the person that's sitting next to you by. Mm -hmm. What he written down? People talking about, he going to judge your heart. Your heart don't do but pump blood. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to say? Well, your heart pumped all right. <laughs> Go on and read, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 17. Now the Adonai is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Adonai is, there is liberty. Mm -hmm. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Adonai, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, mm -hmm. even as by the spirit of the Adonai. Mm -hmm. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craft, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Elohim deceitfully. Listen to listen to some of our top preachers, mm -hmm. Creflo Dollar, oh. T. D. Jakes, and Eddie Long, and go back in the fifties and sixties and see what Daddy Grace, mm. Father Divine. And Reverend Ike was talking about, talking about the same thing. Yep. Mm. Reverend Ike bought 21 Rolls Royce from Prayer Cross. Yep. See? Daddy Grace used to sit up there with his holy hand. You pay, man, I'm talking about 50 years ago or better, when a dollar was a dollar. You paid $50 to kiss that nigga's holy hand. <laughs> now check that out. $50 to kiss his hand. When that brother died, they put him on a flat car, a flat car, and carried him all over the state so they can have, his, have, have the body in their churches. The scripture says, whosoever touch a dead body is unclean to sundown. Mm. If a man die in a house, whosoever enter in that house should be unclean for seven days. You should take all the earthen vessels, that means the things that are made out of glass, because glass is made from sand. Porcelain. You should, right, you should take all the earthen vessels and break them all up. Mm. Right? We don't do that, do we? You know why? We learn what we know from Massa. Mm. Yeah. Go on and read, brother. Yes, sir. Christ said, let the dead bury the dead. You come follow me. Somebody died, we got a $35,000 insurance policy, we go spend $20,000 to put somebody in the ground. Huh? Put all that money down there in the ground, right? And then give us six months and we can't pay our bills. Go on and read, brother. Yes, sir. I, I'll read. Um, <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 again. I'll read it because I didn't read the whole thing. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Elohim deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Elohim. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. What is the gospel? Salvation is of, of Jews. Jews. Mm -hmm. That's the whole doctrine. Salvation is of the Jews. You got to go to the Jews to get salvation. Go ahead, brother. Verse 4. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of Elohim, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but the Mashiach, Yahshua, the Adonai, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahshua's sake. Mm-hmm. For Israel, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Elohim in the face of Yahshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of Elohim and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Adonai Yahshua, that the life also of Yahshua might be made manifest in our mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahshua's sake, mm -hmm. that the life also of Yahshua 
might be made manifest in our world. Amen and amen and praise y'all. Uh, uh, let's go into chapter 6, brother, and read verse 14 through chapter 7 and verse 1. Chapter 6 and verse 14 through chapter 7 and verse 1. Verse 14, be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Christ with Satan? Or what part have he that believes with an infidel? And what agreement have the temple of Elohim with idols? For you are the temple of the living Elohim, as Elohim have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be you separate, says the Adonai, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Adonai Almighty. Mm -hmm. Having, therefore, these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Elohim. How many of you fear your creator? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, how many of you fear your creator? Okay. We fear them Gentiles worse than we do our creator. We fear the preachers in these churches worse than we do our creator. Uh, uh, 1 Peter 5 in verse 1 through verse 11. 1 Peter 5 in verse 1 through verse 11. I'm trying to get through with this stuff here as quick as I can. I got a lot of stuff here. But like I told y'all, I was trying to, uh, I'm doing a series of classes, so I'm going to cut this off uh, in a little bit and then get up out of y'all hair. Uh, 1 Peter 5 in verse 1 through verse 11. Yes, sir. Verse 1. The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of the Mashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed, feed the flock of Elohim which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Not for money. Creflo. But for a ready mind. Right. Folks tell me, say, check this out, check this out. Christ was a carpenter. He built subdivisions. <laughs> See? It's a sin to be poor. Yeah, it's a sin for you to be poor. Christ Jeez, said, brother. the foxes have holes and the birds have nests. I ain't got a place to lay my head. Mm. If it wouldn't been for the, for the women that followed him when he left Galilee, that brother might have starved to death. Definition of the word carpenter. A carpenter means work with wood. You can build furniture, build furniture and be a carpenter. Of course. Build cabinets and be a carpenter. Of course, bro. Yeah. We just we just uh, got it down to cabinet makers mm -hmm. and house builders right. and so forth. A carpenter is a carpenter. Do the works with wood. Yeah. But you didn't see nothing in the New Testament where Christ built, did you? Nope. Okay. I thought, I thought most of them were like earthen <laughs> huts anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 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 go ahead and. Uh, after Joseph died, man, they had a problem. Uh, him and Mary had a problem surviving, brother. That's why their brother had to get on out. Yeah. He was the oldest brother. Yeah. He had to give us the culture, so he was that rich. Right. He his own tomb and stuff right. Like that, right. Right. They didn't have no he place to bury his brother. They, 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 they was going to bury him in the potter's field, man. Yeah, being poor, making many rich. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Go ahead and read, Steve. Yes, sir. Neither, verse 3, neither as being lords over Elohim's heritage, but being examples to the flock. Mm -hmm. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For Elohim resists the proud and give grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Elohim, that he may exalt you in due time, 
casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, sober, I'm sorry, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour, who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Mm. But the Elohim of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by the Mashiach Yahshua, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Amen. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Mm. Amen. Verse 4, chapter 4 and verse 1 through verse 5. Verse 1, for as much then as the Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin, mm -hmm. that he no longer should live the rest of his the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yah. Mm -hmm. For the time past of our life may suffice us sufficed us, I'm sorry, to have wrought the will of the Euro Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess to wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, mm -hmm. who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the day. Okay, my brother, let's go back in Leviticus 20 and read verse 22 through verse 26. Leviticus 20 and verse 22 through verse 26. Yeah, that brother didn't even have money to pay when the Romans were taxing us, right? <laughs> Had to go get it out of fish mouth, told didn't Cephas, he? say, you go out there on that shore and the first fish come up over his mouth, right? Right. <laughs> but everybody tell me, Christ was rich. I mean, he built subdivisions and everything, right? Yeah, I guess he had a chair to go to. Uh, uh. Yeah, and I worked too many construction jobs to know a frame of from a cabinet maker. And all of them come under the category of a copy. Mm -hmm. You had somebody come in there and frame the house, and then you had to have somebody come in to put in your studs and your, your uh, sheet rock, and then your cabinet makers came in and did the rest. Leviticus 20, verse 22 through verse 26. Yes, sir. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land where I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. And you shall not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhor them. Hmm. But I have said unto you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that flows with milk and honey. I am Yahweh, your Elohim, which have separated you from other people. You shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And you shall not make your souls abominable by beasts or by fowls, or by any manner of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be holy unto me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that you should be mine. Okay, my brother, I don't want to go no further than that. Being separated by the Spirit gives us purpose and godly power. This is why I'm not bothered with the busybodies or commotions of those without this sanctified family in Israel. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that the best thing to, uh, uh, to do is to mind one's own business. And if you don't have any business, make it your business to leave other people's business alone. Mm -hmm. This way, you might find some business to be about that you and your business might become one, whether it's good where this evil. The spirit and the flesh must become one as it is written. How then is it possible to walk in love with someone whose words and deeds of love toward you is a damn lie? Right. Mm -hmm. And you know it. Mm -hmm. And what fellowship does lions have with hyenas? Mm -hmm. With each weakness we overcome, Surely the master is made stronger in us as we die a little more to the wiles of our flesh. 
But this is what all must suffer in our purging, and our suffering ye is the fruit worthy of salvation if we are careful to benefit from our each experience and to maintain our God-given lot. But to maintain our station, we must separate ourselves from anything that is contrary to Yahweh's revealed will. This covers being united with sinners in a common purpose, separ uh, separation from evil desires, motives, and acts, uh, uh, the present world system of things, and especially from those who fall away, uh, uh, who are best, who become vessels of dishonor. The reward for separation to Yahweh is uh, the manifestation of the Spirit, unhindered communication uh, and worship, and a fruitful service. This keeps the soul holy, undefiled, harmless, and separated from the wicked uh, for the Master's use. Yet we fall down due to the irresistible force of our flesh, which is uh, completely insatiable. Mm. Because one's desires and needs change with time and circumstances. So to satisfy the desires of the flesh until the flesh dictates another change mm. in the desires of our flesh, we plan an immovable enemy we befriended to help us achieve the pleasures we desire. Mm. But desire, but desired rather, association breeds assimilation. Mm -hmm. So have we assimilated with devils, or have we separated unto the worship and service and the personal care that Yahweh gives uh, his saints? Which one have we done? Mm -hmm. Do we follow our own flesh, or do we follow the things that Yahweh says so that the flesh would be purified? But let us hear the conclusion of this matter. Now John 12 and verse 23 through verse 27. John 12 and verse 23 through verse 27. Before you get started, Steve, let me give you all some, some uh, backup scripture about the separation things. Second uh, uh, Corinthians two. I mean, I'm sorry. Second Tim, Second Timothy two. In verse one through verse nineteen. Romans thirteen, in verse eight through verse fourteen. Ephesians six, in verse ten through verse nineteen. And Second Corinthians twelve in verse 1 through verse 10. Okay. And we're going to read uh, John 12 in verse 23 through verse 27. Verse 23. And Yahshua answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. It talking about the old man, the old habits we got and so forth, and right? Because Yahweh is not going to give you his spirit uh, uh, and you don't walk in, in, in righteousness because we know that the spirit of Yahweh will not dwell in anything unclean. Go ahead, brother. Verse 25. He that loves his life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Mm. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Amen. And for this cause truly came you unto this hour so that you can be the worshipers and service, servants of the true and living God. But be careful uh, to be wise, Israel, because anyone loyal to themselves is a traitor mm -hmm. to their own flesh. Flesh that is constantly waging war against our love and fear of Yahweh. Then the prey enjoy the spoils of war 
and one betrays all righteousness. So let us be careful of these things, O Yah, uh, O children of Israel, because Yahweh our Elohim is a consuming fire. So it's been said, so let it be written. Even so, come, Lord Yahshua, and save us out of all this problems.